Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way TV. I'm Rav Dukan, uh, the presenter of the show. Yes, in this video, we'll be talking about the latest, the hottest, the most important news Manchester United as of this day. They are not breaking news, but they are news which must uh, get your interest as a fan. So guys, if you have your opinion on this news, please make sure you click, uh, you, you drop your comments below. But before that, just make sure you keep a, click a like on the video. Guys, make sure you share the video. We want to hit just 10,000K and only you can help us. And if you can help us, stay there when we have the 10k and get your reward because we really need this in order for us to build up what we are trying to do so yeah the biggest news here is the mason greenwood the hypocrisy of the premier league the mason greenwood uh, about mason greenwood tell you guys about the latest contract of um um kobe menu the man of the time who will tell you guys about that and also a certain uh, uh player argentinian young international star that manchester united have decided to go uh through uh, take uh the uh, we will say the ajax uh pattern of uh recruitment by going for very young players don't forget real madrid does that as well so let's go straight with the mason green one because it's boiling because it's from a setting journalist which i respect fabrizio romano we have heard this also from espn uh journalists uh, as well uh that uh, there are some english clubs that are interested in mason greenwood <laughs> i don't know what to say there are some English clubs that are interested in Mason Greenwood, and I don't know what to say. The reason why I'm reacting this way is because if you guys remember when Mason Greenwood was, um, his charges were, uh, I mean, he, he was uh, kind of uh, told to, to, to go on with his career, right? And uh, there, were, there was this question asked to Manchester's most United fan. There was even this, this TV um, star, a female, I don't, I, don't, I don't get her name. I think she's from the US, but she seems she's a United fan. And she came out and said, oh, I would not be a Manchester United fan if Mason Greenwood plays for Manchester United again. The level of hypocrisy, not only in, in the UK, but in the world in general, in humans, right? It is just unbelievable that a player that um, hasn't been charged for any criminal deeds. Yes, we saw the videos, but... Uh, we don't make decisions, right? Yes, we saw it happen. What happened happened. We don't make decisions. We are but we are meant to to listen to the. I mean to follow the the judgment. I mean the world is the world. You keep hearing that the world is in flat. The world is round. The world the world is crooked. When when you start getting these news, not because I don't want him to play for a team, but simply because. If he was Mason Greenwood, would be playing for United next season. You, you would have seen a lot of videos on TikTok. What's uh, I mean, all be all social media trying to belittle the guy. So I, this is my opinion about this. I think um, there's too much. We uh, there's too much story here. There's too much cooks in a Manchester United strategy, and it's I think it's about time for Manchester United to hold strong and do what Manchester United the club has to do because there is a lot of things that if we start paying attention all these things that don't really matter it might affect our, uh, our bottom line in terms of uh, what we are trying to do moving forward um Sergio Markley was asked a question about Manchester about say, uh, about Mason Greenwood and he said well time I mean with time everything will be clear he didn't he didn't discount it it is like play it down neither did he uh play it up so I think that's a smart business way um to manage players in terms of him and clubs which are interested, I don't know exactly the clubs, but uh, if Fabrizio is coming out with that, then that's true. It's definitely uh, clubs have made uh, some inquiries about missing group. But the, 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 the noise out there is that the club which is, re which is really interested in missing group is not in the UK. And it's in uh, Spain, in Atletico Madrid, who um, um, Manchester United has already made a prize for him, missing group. United won't go for anything less than 40 uh, million pounds uh, for my Mason Greenwood. Uh, I think there will be a buy-on clause on that because he is such a talent. And um, the, well, and let's not forget that Mason Greenwood's issue wasn't the talent. Mason Greenwood wasn't his performance. It was more to do about, you know, what we uh, we all heard and saw on social media. So uh, before I move on, I want to ask you guys, what do you think about this story? Should Greenwood come to Should Manchester United uh, allow Greenwood to play to one of our rivals? I think it's a very difficult one. I think it's wrong. Yes, it's an opinion. We're in, we in a space of opinion. I think it's wrong. After the most of um, the English press has been very hard on this, this kid, 
and then he comes back to another team and i think he's going to face the same uh the same treatment so he needs to think about it through before making such a decision so let's go on to uh second news what's our second news there is a young guy here that manchester united loves loves very much uh and here you go he is aaron uh, asil his name is aaron asil asilmino asilmino uh, aaron asilmino yeah asilmino he is uh reported at 18 years of age he plays for boca juniors uh in argentina he is an attacker and uh, the united are looking very close on this player i think this is the kind of uh, player that united would like to bring up this is what we started doing sometime when uh, from a couple of years ago when we started bringing young players into manchester united and united have spotted this attacker like one of the players which we, he th they think they can um they can maximize uh, his out his 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 input his input in the club will be uh very important so who is this guy actually he's uh he was born in 2005 18 years of age uh, yeah and uh he doesn't have he's not an argentinian um uh, international yet he has zero credentials that he i think he has played just i think one game with uh, boca juniors right <laughs> one game and uh, it seems as if about this guy is he is just a potential player he is not the finished uh, article yet but that i think united were hearing about uh his price could be in the region of between 10 and 20 uh, million uh, no with add-ons because he is just a young player so what do you think about this i think this is a good move for united why because i think rasmus holland has had a fair season fair some will say fair some will say below um uh, standards but rasmus has had a fair season next season he has to prove of being the main person in united he is young I think having another young attacker or a very experienced attacker would not be a bad thing. And having a player like this who can come also and influence game, I haven't seen the guy, but I hope he is the first, uh, for the, the, uh, the not the finished article. I think he he has uh, some uh, some attributes which uh, might be a guy might help in the Premier League. Also, there is this news which is out of the box. This is something I just come out as we are ch talk. You are chatting that United are interested to bring in. Uh, Joseline, uh, Joseline, uh, uh, an attacker from uh, Real Madrid. This is a Spanish international, Joseline. I think he's 29 of years. Yeah, if I don't, if I'm not mistaken, he, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he played for Stock. Yes, tall, lanky guy, and uh, he definitely scored last um, the time we are United played against Real Madrid in the friendlies in the US. That was the game which um, Kobe when you had an injury. Uh, Joseli score, uh, scored a goal. Yes, he did score in that game. I watched it. I remember I was in Spain. I travel a lot. I travel a lot. So you guys have to be used to. Yeah, so I can do videos. My my next videos in the summer, you won't have this backdrop. So uh, yeah, so enjoy it if you like it uh, while it's around. But yeah, so I was in Spain. Um, I think Joseli it's a good player. Joseli has the height. He doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have that physique, I think, to call the to be influential in the Premier League, I don't think he is the right um, uh, kind of player United needs to look into. Also, another news is Kimmich. Kimmich! Kimmich! Kimmich, this is a name in which we have been singing as United fans for the past decade. Very athletic, very athletic player. English, French, German international, plays for Bayern Munich. He has had a silent season this year. Kimmich hasn't been that uh, good this season. To be honest, Kimmich hasn't been that... Uh, he hasn't pull on pull on trees pull out trees sorry and uh, but um he uh, the reports here uh that he is uh he he i mean obviously he has one more year for it yeah, in his contract with uh, germany and uh, bayern munich and it seems to see bayern are considering catching in on him for the one more year and uh the question is how much will bayern will be ready to take such a player i think in the region of 50 million euros that would be roughly between 40 and 45 million pounds for Kimmich. So uh, what will you do as a fan? Will you take on Kimmich? Will you bring Kimmich into the player uh, into Manchester United? Are you ready to, uh, to to sell Casemiro and bring in Kimmich? That's a, a tough one for me to swallow. But um, I think uh, that's why we have Beretta. We have uh, the staff in which we have. They will think this through carefully and decide with that. Well, the last last news here is the man of the moment, Kobe Mwenu, where Manchester United have come out and said 
we need to give this guy a bumper contract this guy is something really really and really special but uh, we are in no rush to do that because we know it's our player we have given already a five years we are in no rush to increase his uh, salary because we know he's a player because now you know he is playing for his now play he's playing he's already an english international main player for the uh, manchester united football club and they don't want to play with his mind in terms of finance they want him to settle he will pay he will get the contract that he wants what will you what would be a good salary for a player like uh, in that uh, a player like uh, Kobe Moeno. Uh, personally, I'll tell you guys that I think Kobe has to be receiving uh, at least at least fifty million. I mean, I'm uh, sorry. I mean, it's fifty fifty thousand pounds a week. Fifty thousand pounds a week for Kobe will be a good salary. That's a salary for someone which is uh, the main player in the first team. That has to be a starting salary. So that's where I am with this, guys. If you did like something in this video, please make sure you click a like on the video. What do you think about uh, um, uh, uh, Asil, Asil Meno? What do you think about Kobe Mayo's new, new uh, contract? Are you over the moon for this news about um, United uh, trying to uh, to bring in Kemich? And what do you think also uh, about uh, the potential or for the possibility of missing career playing for an English team? Drop your comments below. Get involved with the United Way. Please make sure you subscribe and share if you are lucky to see us because we know our channel isn't shared on YouTube. Anyway, guys, great speaking to you again. And yeah, I'm out.